consumers. سلام یه درسیو به تکاتایی هچ برز روی کوکو به چه آتش راندینو یه شامپیونز لیگ وان چه ازو آدی سابا گفتوال به این کن بیرام ما کنی نتیت زگا جون پروگرام اند تکاتات لوگا بزن. Most of you now, I hope, have the cardinal external relations manager for Ryan Kelly My warm welcome to all of you and the legendary Roma Kion who doesn't need any further introduction. As you all know, the UFA Champions League trophy starts off the speech by Atoheri Manu, Managing Director of Heineken Ethiopia, and Hans. Since 2007, Heineken has been the official sponsor of the Champions League, and the trophy tour, what we are enjoying today, is aimed at bringing the magic of the Champions League to the hearts of thousands of them, allowing them to get closer to the iconic trophy, to the iconic Ronaldinho and their idols. We're very honored that uh, Ethiopia was selected as one of the six countries this year that can welcome the trophy and uh, that we can share the excitement and the emotions of football with thousands of Ethiopians in the coming days. Uh, I've been here since 2015 uh, and I know the Ethiopians, I know the passion here is that in the last uh, two months uh, when we announced that we would bring the cup and Ronaldinho to the, to the country. Heineken entered the market in 2011 by buying two breweries, Ara and Videla, and then it was also clear we had to establish a brewery in Addis Ababa. And that brewery, which is now in its third extension, is going to be the biggest brewery in Ethiopia. And we want to become a proud and leading brewery group in Ethiopia, with a strong portfolio of national and international brands. And you, of course, know us from Walia. But you know us from Walia Rathle, you know us from Heineken. You see that it's traveled around the world like Champions League, the most premium products and their both on mobile. The recognized probably the red star of Ireland. And it has, if you've seen carefully, five uh, uh, points. The five points I would like to share here as well is about the pure of Ireland. We have water, barley, mold, uh, and hops. And of course we have the ADs that makes Heineken so unique. And the fifth one is the magic. And the fifth I can imagine is that we produce Heineken consistently around the whole world. But it's about what we're doing with the sponsorship as well around the world. And with the partnership that we have in the way, we bring the magic of football to the whole world as well. And I'm sure we're going to see that. So I'd like to thank Paul Dino as well for making this way to Ethiopia. We will enjoy a lot of great moments, great stories that uh, go together, because I know that over great stories of football and we are the best times ever. Thank you very much and enjoy the weekend. First of all, Stella, I would like to thank Heineken Bear for making this event real and for bringing one of the most 
talented footballer ever in our time, Ronaldinho, and one of the most iconic championship trophy as well. So I have two questions for Ronaldinho. The first one is, you're so talented. I'm an amazing footballer. I personally like your smile. <laughs> I enjoy that like the most. But my question is, um, you are one of the eight very important and well recorded players, football players, like uh, Franz Beckenbauer, Paolo Rossi, Ronaldinho yourself, Kaka, Rivaldo, uh, Gerd Müller from Germany as well. You've won three different trophies, World Cup, Champions League, and the Ballon d'Or, three times in a row. Which one is the most important for you? That's my first question. My second question is, everybody loves you, everybody used to enjoy your game in the pitch, but when we expect more from you, you just give up football all of a sudden. And I just want to know, What's the reason behind that and curtain wall to make you decide to quit football so soon? Thank you very much. Um, from now on TV, I have my own Sport Nation Sport Program. O possível é perder a qual o título foi mais importante, porque todos né, foram de, de muita importância na, na minha carreira, na minha vida. Então é impossível dizer qual. Since so possible to say uh, which one of those prizes was the most important because I enjoyed a lot all the prizes I won so far. I don't think it's too early. So I, I finished up my career really self-accomplished. Since my seven year old, a lot of routine, a lot of football. And now I have the opportunity to work for Heineken and other projects like Heineken. And know the world in a lot of ways, in a different way. Great to see you in Ethiopia. On a much serious note though, unfortunately our football in this country is sick at the moment, including the management itself. Despite the fact that most of us love football so much, as you can see, all of us here, it's not because we're journalists on this, because football is in our veins. Now, from your experience and from the Brazilian experience of sustaining success in the football field, what do you suggest football in Ethiopia should do, or its management should do, so that millions of us can finally smile like you all the time? Thank you very much. In order for the football to grow here, they should have qualified coaches. And international players coming here will give a lot of support. It should be a path, and especially to inspire the young football players. And a lot of projects like Heineken's project can bring a lot of hope to the young players in order to football to be joyful and the motive of pride for the Ethiopians.